Hello everyone. Uh, so this is uh, my second project of the Forget Me Not series. Um, I'm going to make a tutorial on how I made this little cute thing. It's a mini album made out of one piece of paper um, and I'm going to show you how I did it and how you can embellish it. <clears throat> I'm going to send this off to my sister tomorrow so um, I hope she likes it. Um, I also made this cute little card uh, to go with it and I'm going to uh, keep everything or tuck everything in this little box that I altered. Um, I don't know if you can see. Um, here it says uh, forget me not and it's kind of um, a handle that you can open the box with. I also embellished the inside <clears throat> with some uh, punched flowers and a ribbon and inside the box um, I just embellished the bottom so not the sides I just distressed the sides and to make it even more um, like a treasure I had some beads that I put on here as um, feet so that's just a cute little thing. I'm going to show you uh, later how I uh, embellished it um, but first things first I'm going to show you how to make this out of one piece of paper. So um, these are papers from <clears throat> Ephemeris Vintage Garden. This uh, is actually a <coughs> printed on A3 and it measures um, just shy of 15 wide and 11 and a half inches <coughs> tall. So I'm going to make it 11 and a half by 11 and a half to have a square. Um, and I need my cutting board. Put that here. And I also <clears throat> I already marked where I need to cut this. Okay. And of course, I can use this beautiful vintage image on something. So I'm definitely keeping this for later. <coughs> so, that's all the measuring you have to do on this project. So, then you just fold. Okay, I, maybe I should mention that I printed on the back side as well and um, Debbie Ann from from his vintage garden she also um, made this lined paper and uh, coffee stained <coughs> sorry um, coffee stained it and then she tinted it in green and if I'm just going to show you the green will be only visible inside these pockets but I thought that was just a nice little twist that uh, the insides have a color as well so so you fold it in half <coughs> and if you have a bone folder you can crease the fold a little bit more and then you're going to fold here as well 
here and on the other side you meet in the middle with the first fold that you have <coughs> don't overlap here okay so we got cut off and um, I didn't notice so I just went on and on and on and then suddenly I noticed <laughs> that the battery was flat and um, it didn't record my process so I'm really sorry about that but no harm um, no harm done um, this is what we're working at so um, we we folded it in half and then folded up again so now we have three folds and that we are going to repeat when we turn the paper so that we have a fold here and then we're going to fold these up as well and once folded we're going to cut we're going to cut some slices and um, there are lots of uh, tutorials out there on how to do this so if my explaining is isn't quite good enough for you then please um, go to Pinterest or YouTube and uh, type one piece of paper mini album um, etc so that I think you're going to find a tutorial that matches your um, your needs so but now um, I made this drawing um, so that you can see this is our middle fold and then the two other folds right here and then we're going to cut these three these three and then this these three lines and of course I'm going to show you how we're doing that so I think I want this border to be sideways on the papers and I I hope I'm doing this right but so so remember we're cutting this line now and we're going to cut up here Huh? That didn't quite well. Okay. And then I didn't do that very well. Okay, and then not on the middle line but on the last line here on this fold up until here we're cutting this okay and then we turn the paper around and then we're cutting this fold up until here okay So, we're having a W or an M, um, like some people like to say. And then now we're going to fold the album. And because I want these to be visual in my album, I have to make this my front. You see? This is also how my my front is looking. So this this way up and then you just fold in accordion style. And then 
fold this one up and continue. And here, fold it down, continue, and fold up and continue. And there you have it. There you have the mini album. And these are the pages. You see, this is what I wanted. I wanted them to be on the side, not on the bottom or on the top. So that was quite well done. So, next step is to um, make it um, make it a book. So we need to have um, glue this, and we need to close some of the pockets. You can you can stitch, you can glue. Uh, and I think I'm going to use my hot glue gun, but you can also use double-sided tape. But for to speed it up just a little bit, I'm using my glue gun. Uh, yes, I am going to, because it closes up here, then I need... Um, this is going to be a top-loaded uh, pocket, so I'm gluing this. Maybe it's going to be um, nicer with the double-sided tape because it is easier to manage um, to be more precise if you understand me um, this I want to have as a side pocket so that means I'm going to glue here and here Just fold it up. Okay. Two down. This one, the same as the first, glue here. Once you have it in your hands, it'll be more obvious and logical what to do. So, don't get scared off if it looks a bit complicated. So, this, this is done a little bit different because it was folded down instead of up but um, you want it to be side pocket so you're gluing here on the inside. Yep, and there's your pocket and this is where I didn't cut it very well so I think I need to glue that a little bit more and I can always hide it with an embellishment of, of some kind okay then we have another top loaded pocket so we need to close it here I have only done this maybe a couple of times and it's so easy so I, I hope um, you're going to be doing some of your own it's just a cute little quick project so this is going to be a top loaded I think no this is top loaded so I want to have that variation so to say so we're going to make it side uh, a side pocket so we're closing it here let's 
so that's it and another top loaded packet so we're growing closing this gap and this that's it you guys so on this journal I made a little cover on the spine to make it to close the spine okay so I'm going to find a scrap and then I'm gluing this on so I'll be back okay so I think I found a piece that I want to to use it is the cutoff from this um, so I think I'm going to to use this on my spine and I'm just eyeballing it when I cut it and I don't need much I almost just need And then I'm going to score because that is easier. I am going to score here. I'm going to turn it around because I want to use the other side as my front. And then I have to measure how thick it's going to be. Um, let's see, that's on the back side, so around there, yep, and that fits on a half inch mark, so that's it you guys, then we're gluing this on. And it's okay if it's a little bit thicker than the book is right now because if you see this it's going to be thick enough okay so that's okay and I'm going to need a front uh, like I did on this one and um, I did use some scraps, small uh, stripes or strips of scraps um, where you just have a piece of, of paper and then you can just cut them down. And if you have them in different colors or within the same color scheme, then it'll it'll match perfectly. So that's how I did this. But what you see here are three layers. It's a coffee stained a graph paper. Then it's uh, a, uh, a design paper, and then it's a piece of this kind of paper on the front. And after I glue these papers on, I I put on a piece of wine cork. I cut that down. Uh, um, a thinner slice. I glued it down. You could also glue down a button. It's just 
to make um, a little dimension here. And then I used uh, two flower punches like these. And then I, I simply punched out um, a lot of flowers like this and I have some of the green ones I have a homemade tool that I'm using to um, twist these babies. So what I actually do, I uh, this is this is from a paintbrush, and I'm using this in just to um, punch this down. And this is just a piece of foam of some kind, because then. Um, it gets a 3D effect and when you do this then you can glue you can glue them on top of each other I'm just going to show you for uh, for fun on this piece just a little bit of glue on this one and then the other flower on top and when you do that enough times you come up with this yeah it's just a cute little idea but you can embellish with whatever you want you could also embellish with this one as I did for this card uh, cut out uh, some vintage ephemera motifs and then layered them and then glue them on top of each other like I did here. That's a possibility also. And then on the inside, I what I did, I, I punched I punched wherever the pocket is loaded and I used my circle punch and I oh. this was really far away so but this is where I have it so I'm just eyeballing uh, the center and then I'm just punching out half a circle and I'm using these as a guideline for my my edge and so there you have it and then you can see the green paper inside so and this there you have the side pocket, and then we're punching that, eyeballing, punch, oops, and so you continue to do that throughout the album. Um, for the embellishments of the pages, like I did on this one, I cut a strip here just a scrap here for a pocket and then I made I made a small template I made a small template for um, to make um, little mini oops little mini uh, tabs so that they would fit in 
and then again I took scraps or leftovers from paper and then I just placed my template on on how I wanted them to look. You could do this uh, all kinds of places, you know, whatever paper you want on your on your uh, tabs. So this is what I did throughout the album. Um, made one side with the design paper and then lined paper on the other side and then on these I embellished with uh, life quotes and some small images. Um, I also, on, on every page, I also had layered three labels on top of each other uh, and some flowers and a little um, stripe. I'm going to show you how I did that. Let me just find a scrap. Yes, I have a scrap here. So maybe I just maybe I just cut this. And then I used I used my hole punch to cut the corners and make a really nice finish. So that's what I placed on top of each uh, on each uh, page, and then um, to finish them off, there would be quotes or sentiments um, throughout this album. You can embellish with whatever you like. You can leave these open for, um, if you're giving it away, then um, they could use it for, to make, to glue down their own sentiments or life quotes, um, whatever you decide. Um, here it says, take time to stop and smell the roses. Um, Life is short, so live it. And then this matches a little bit in color. Memories are sweet, so cherish. Love is rare, so grab it. I found these quotes on Pinterest um, and I thought they were kind of um, appropriate for this birthday gift for my sister. She's having a hard time in her in her life so I thought I would just I would like to encourage her and, and cheer her up a little bit. Uh, so I hope she will enjoy this and keep it. Um, focus on what matters and let go of what doesn't. And what did this one say? Fear is awful, so face it. Life is short, enjoy the little things. And then this classic one, live more, laugh often and love much. It's just a simple little album, but I think it is loaded with just little sweet things. Um, and for the labels, how did I do the labels? I I found this. I found this in a Google search or a or a Pinterest search. I searched for 
printable uh, templates, labels, and then I found this pattern among uh, a lot of others and I really like this one. Printed it and then I have a what do you say that a multiple function printer scanner um, copy machine and then I simply um, made them smaller so one copy was I think I downsized it at 55% then 45 and then 35 no yes something like that but um, you would have to experiment on that on how you want yours if you're making something similar and then I simply placed these all around uh, my papers and then drew and cut so I did a lot of that um, because I have each uh, on each page one of each um, so there's a lot of um, drawing uh, and cutting and gluing but I think it is so worth it it's just the cutest little project and I think when you're giving it away it'll be appreciated so much so and for the back side I used these these strips again um, different patterns whatever I had of leftovers and then um, I did use a wine cork as a dimension um, to make it a little bit more exciting and and then again the flowers yes so let's move on I hope I explained this uh, thorough enough if you have questions then please please um, write them in the comment section and then I'll try to come back to you uh, the box remember the box um, how I did this I I used the same elements I used the same elements I used this giant A3 uh, paper if you can see this and a recycled box uh, this was a beauty product um, but um, what I did I, I glued down uh, the bottom so it wouldn't open and make made it sturdier with a piece of design paper and then I embellished it with um, a lot of punched flowers and then again the three labels on top of each other and I also glued them on some a box of ice cream this was really sturdy some sturdy uh, paper almost a chipboard but really really sturdy cardstock um, to make them more dimensional and as I said yes the flowers uh, and then I cut out a little handle and that is simply and I say simply because that is just I just cut a, a strip um, and it is yeah make your own um, it's not very um, wide and then I glued on um, the forget-me-not that I typed in a word document and then printed on colored line paper and I just shaped it I shaped it like this just shaped it like this and then glued glued down this uh, and then I mod parched uh, it I gave it several layers to make it um, hard 
so it will not it will not rip it will not tear it can actually you can actually uh, bend it and 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 open lots of times uh, it won't it won't rip then I glued on a couple of buttons and then I cut out some of these flowers some of these flowers and then glued them on to uh, cardstock and cut them out um, before I put on glued on these um, layers I glued on some matching satin ribbon and then I continued with the flowers and so I also made I also made this little lace trim and then I sewed on some elastics for the for to hold this and then glued on a couple of buttons and a little flower from the papers so this will fit in here and then the matching card I just took the design paper on one side distressed it a little bit and lined paper on the other side I used some stamps and then cut out and glued on cardstock a few different size flowers and also these these cutouts are 